Hey folks, Casey here with Two Tankards. Welcome back to our M2 calibration video series. This video is sponsored by MakerMade, the manufacturer of the M2 CNC. And today we're going to take a look at tab number one, your machine tab. So stay tuned. All right, folks. So in the machine tab in Makerverse, it asks you about your chains. Let's talk about those chains for a second. It asks you, are your chains oriented from the bottom or from the top? Let me show you what the difference is. With your chain right here coming off of your sled, if it comes up to the sprocket from the bottom and then it wraps around to the top, that is called off the bottom. In some cases and some custom frames, people route them from the sled up and around the top of the sprocket so the chain hangs down this way. For an M2, your standard setup, it's always from the bottom. So that's what we're going to use today. I open up Makerverse, then open up your workspace. Refresh your ports and click the drop down. Choose the USB option. Next, check the baud rate to ensure it is correct and click open. Next, I ensure I have the latest version of Makerverse and then I click the reset and unlock to begin my session. I note that it says unlock in the command screen. Next, I scroll down and click the calibration button. Once the screen opens up, I like to refresh the default settings. I click wipe settings and then click accept and wait for Makerverse to reboot. Once Makerverse reboots, I refresh my ports again click the drop down and choose the USB connection and then click open. Again, I check the software version, then click reset and unlock. Then I scroll down and click on the calibrate button. I then click let's begin and I ensure I am in millimeters. This is the area we referred to earlier in our discussion in this video about the chain orientation. The drop down allows you to choose off the top or off the bottom. As we have a standard setup, we will choose off the bottom. Next, I enter my actual chain length. I have the standard 10 foot chains and they measure out to 3340 millimeters, which is actually a little shorter than 10 foot. I leave the sled weight and orientation alone. Next I click apply and we are now ready to move on to the next tab which is the stock tab. All right, folks, that's it for the first tab in our calibration series, the machine tab. We looked at our chain setup. We also looked at our chain length. We inputted that data to make sure everything is correct. The sled weight and rotation in Newtons, we left those alone. Don't mess with those. So now we should be ready to move on to our next tab. And as always, if you like our content, please click like and subscribe to keep the channel rolling. And if you're buying anything from MakerMade, feel free to use my MakerMade affiliate code here. Save yourself 10%. We'll see you on the next run.